I'm Benjamin Beaver. You want to buy a house, but so do other people. How do you win a bidding war? Okay, so you're out there in the trenches trying to buy a house, and so are all these other people, and you're constantly being outbid. That's a problem. But you might not be able to avoid it. But here's uh, some general tips on how to win a bidding war. So one is you have to put yourself in the mindset of the seller. You have to consider what type of financing you're using. If you're using cash, you're going to have an easier time because you're offering the seller a, a pretty short and simple closing process. But if you're like most people, you're using a loan of some type. So you have to consider how is the seller going to perceive my offer? Okay, if you're using an FHA or VA loan that's a little bit more strict on appraisals, the seller is going to keep that in mind. They may be willing to go with a lower offer that has a higher probability of closing without any issues. So you have to consider that because you may have to make a better offer if your financing uh, creates some additional hurdles to, to go over in order to close the deal. So generally, one of my suggestions is when you're making multiple offers on houses, you're making offers on different houses, keep in mind that you will have an option period. So an option period is generally seven to 10 days in the first, you know, uh, the beginning of the contract where you, the buyer, can opt out for any reason. There's often an option fee for this, maybe $100 or whatever you write in on the contract. But keep in mind that you will have that option period and just be ready to make an offer quick. You see a house that you want, that you like, make an offer in consideration that the seller may be looking at others and try to get that win-win situation. If you want to shop victoriously, then you need to make an offer that's going to be compelling to them when they have others to consider. And then go make an offer on another house. Don't You don't have to get completely emotionally married to any one house before making an offer because if three days later you wake up and realize this is a huge mistake, you can exercise your option period, you're at $100 or whatever it is that you put up as the option fee and you can back out of that and go find another house. So because you have that cushion to fall back on, I would say just be ready to get out there and make offers on as many houses as as you can find that meet your that meet your uh, what you're looking for. So that's just something that a lot of people don't consider. And you, if you're too meticulous on trying to pick any one house, you might get discouraged or demoralized as you just make offer after offer, but you're always pulling the trigger a little too slowly, you're acting too slowly, and you're not getting your offer accepted. So be prepared to make multiple offers, consider your option period, and consider the type of financing you're using because you want the seller to choose yours over another. There's more to consider, but that'll get you started. Thank you